Hi, I'm Susie Roberts, one of the consultants in public health here at Cheshire East Council, and I'm going to talk you through our new interactive tartan rug dashboard today with the assistance of my colleague Sarah Deakin, our head of health intelligence. The Cheshire East tartan rug is our way of understanding how health and wellbeing varies by ward across Cheshire East. It can be accessed as a PDF and this will enable you to print it off and examine the tartan rug in full. You can access this PDF by first searching for Cheshire East JSNA. By searching this, you'll arrive at our landing page and then the tartan rug can be found under the overviews of health and wellbeing tile. Once you click on this tile, the actual link to the tartan rug PDF can be found about four paragraphs down. As well as this, we've produced a summary of the findings from this tartan rug and the recommendations that follow this that we think are particularly important. We've also developed our new interactive dashboards so that people will be able to focus in on particular health topics or wards that are important to them. The dashboard link will also be available on this page. So what is the tartan rug? The Tartan Rug is a tool to look at the health and well-being of each ward in Cheshire East, comparing them to all other wards across England for a variety of different health issues. All of the data for the Tartan Rug comes from the Office for Health Improvement and Disparities and can be accessed using their local health profiles. It's a particularly important tool for us in Cheshire East, as although health and well-being in Cheshire East on average looks to be similar or better than the England average, there is very significant variation across the wards, with some wards experiencing considerably worse health and well-being. This variation is known as health inequality. We will talk you through how to use the tool over the course of this user guide. However, it is important to note that although the Tartan Rug helps us to compare our wards, it does not allow us to see overall trends over time or pick up on challenges that the whole country is experiencing rather than challenges specific to Cheshire East. Hi, I'm Sarah Deakin and I'm an analyst within the Public Health Intelligence team within Cheshire East Council. I'm going to take you through the new Tartan Rug dashboard. This introduction page is the page that will come up when you click on via the website as Susie's previously described. This just simply tells us what the tool is. Very much what Susie's already gone through. The dashboard is made up of several pages. These can be selected using the three line icon in the top left hand corner here. So if we go through to the second page, this just gives us a little bit more technical information. At the moment, it's indicating that some of the indicators are not included in the analysis across years and geographies. We sometimes have to do this because the data source that we use has dropped some of the indicators throughout the time that the local health data has been available or it is not available across for all the years we're comparing. It also notes down here that the Cheshire East Overview tab is the only section that actually uses Cheshire East local authority values. All other sections within the Tartan Rug look at ward level data and how it compares nationally. So if we go into the third page, which is the actual tartan rug, you can see that there are two scroll bars. There is one across the bottom. This allows us to scroll across through the wards within Cheshire East. The wards are all grouped within their care communities. And the one on the right hand side allows us to scroll up and down through the different indicators within the tartan rug. Across the top here, we have some pull down menus that allow us to select the particular year we're interested in. 
particular care community or several care communities that we might be comparing. One allows us to select a single or multiple wards to compare. And finally, this one, the local health topics, that simply groups some of the indicators together under a heading. So if we go into disease and poor health, this one brings up admission related data, self-reported illness and new cases of different cancers. Go back in and select all. Brings us back to the tartan rug. The coloration within the tartan rug indicates how that particular ward for that particular indicator is performing nationally. If it's coloured red, it means it's performing badly and falls within the bottom or worst 40% of wards nationally. If it is coloured green, this indicates that it's performing well and falls within the top or best 40% nationally. And this sort of off white colour indicates that it falls within the middle 20%. You can see here that it gives it a nice checkered pattern, which is why we refer to it as the tartan rug. Before we move on, there's a couple of other bits I can point out to you. Here we have where Crew Central and Gawsworth is in bold. If we click on there, that quickly demonstrates the stark inequalities across Cheshire East by comparing Crew Central Ward in Crew Care Community with Gawsworth Ward in Macclesfield Care Community. And you can see the different coloration there. Also, if we click on the Crew Central and Winbury in bold, that quickly shows us the inequalities within a single care community. So here we're comparing Crew Central Ward with Wimbury Ward, both which sit within the Crew Care community. Go back here and select all. Brings back the full tartan rug. So if we move on to the next page, this is the Cheshire East overview page. Now remember, this is the one that compares the Cheshire East local authority values with other local authorities across England. Here we've got what we call a RAG status, which is simply red, amber, green. So if the Cheshire East value falls within the worst 40% of local authorities nationally, it will be coloured red. If it falls within the best 40%, it will be coloured green, and the middle is coloured amber in this case. The data on this page matches the values and the colorations of the Cheshire East column on the tartan rug. So this page is looking at how Cheshire East is performing across a range of health and well-being indicators compared to other local authorities. So if we look on the right hand table here, we can see that this is indicating that in 2022, Cheshire East was performing worse for admissions for injury in the under fives, emergency admissions in the under fives, binge drinking in adults, hospital stays for self-harm, emergency admissions for hip fractures and emergency admissions for all causes. Here we're given the time period that the data covers. And you can see here, if we look at binge drinking, that some of the data appears to be quite old. This is because sometimes it takes time for good quality data 
to be collated at award level. Also, some of the data periods are quite long, up to four years. This is because this helps us determine that what we're looking at is actually true and not just variation in the system year on year. This is particularly true when we're looking at small numbers. If we look at the left hand side, this graph here is telling us that 15% of the indicators within Cheshire East fall within the worst 40% performing local authorities. However, we know this conceals internal inequalities. To illustrate this, we could look at a single indicator. So if we go back into the tartan rug and look at something like, look at deliveries to teenage moms, you can see here that at Cheshire East, it is the sort of off-white colour, which means it's performing within the middle 20% nationally. However, if we just simply scroll across to the crew care community, we can see here that the wards are performing worse and fall within the worst 40% nationally. So if we only taken Cheshire East value into account, we wouldn't have thought there was a problem. But by looking at the ward level data, we can see that for some areas, this is a real issue. So if we go back through the Cheshire East overview page, then onto the Cheshire East wards overview page. Now this looks at ward level data and compares how each ward for each indicator is performing nationally. So we can see here on the right hand side that this is indicating that Cheshire East wards are performing worse than for emergency admissions for the under fives. And here this is indicating that 87% of the wards are coloured red. If we look on the left hand side, this is telling us how overall Cheshire East is performing. And that's indicating that 33% of the data points are coloured red and therefore performing worse than other wards across England. Now, if we move on to the Care Communities Overview page, this gives us a sense of how the health and wellbeing is in, in each of our care communities. If we look here, the RAG or red, amber, green status shows us how the majority of wards within each care community are performing. If the RAG status is green, as is the case for Nutsford, Chelford and Hounforth, Elderly Edge and Wilmslow care community, and for Bollington, Disley and Poynton, this means that 50% or more of the data points are coloured green. We can see here as well that Crewe is the only care community where over 50% of the indicators were coloured red. All other care communities, there is no dominant colour, so they've been coloured amber. The graph on the right hand side gives the actual percentages for the different colours for each care community. We move on to the 
comparison with previous years. So the next three pages allow us to compare the Cheshire East ward averages with the wards within other local authorities. Comparison with the previous year page. This shows the overall movement between the year you have selected and the previous year's data, if it's available within the tool. It can be difficult to interpret. However, there is guidance on this page. Basically, you have to look at both the green and red bars for each of the care community to understand whether an area has improved or worsened between the two years. To help with this, there is a filter available on the right hand page. Here we can select buttons that only view the care communities that have improved. So that gives us Chaw and Bollington or those with a worsening picture. Here, Nantwich and Rural, Nutsford and Chalk. If we go into Mixed, that shows us where both the green and the red columns are above the line. The final three pages look at how the Cheshire East Ward averages compared with other local authorities. So the first one shows us how we compare to local authorities in Cheshire and Merseyside. The second one allows us to compare with our geographical neighbours. And the third allows us to compare against other local authorities with us that are considered similar to us in terms of social and demographic information, such as age, ethnicity and deprivation. Whilst all of these comparisons are helpful, it is important to keep in mind they don't show the variation across Cheshire East and the user must always keep these health inequalities in mind. So what are the next steps? We need to reduce the health inequalities seen across Cheshire East. This new dashboard will allow us to discuss priorities and monitor progress. It will be updated annually with the next update due for later this year. So how will we reduce health inequalities? Health inequalities can only be reduced by working together to improve health and well-being, starting from pregnancy right through to the last days of life. We need to consider not just health and care services, but the important wider determinants of health that feed into giving our residents the very best possible health and well-being. The Joint Strategic Needs Assessment and Joint Health and Wellbeing Strategy can help us to do this. The Tartan Rug should be used in combination with our more in-depth topic specific reviews within our Joint Strategic Needs Assessment. These are also published on our website. Um, this should be done in conjunction with your own expertise and experiences so that we can make the very best of our efforts to improve health and well-being of all our residents across Cheshire East. Thank you so much for your time in watching this video and taking an interest in the Cheshire East Tartan Rug.